We're here at St James's Park, home to Newcastle United and 52,000 Geordies on the day the Magpies can guarantee their Premier League status. But we're not here for that. We're here for something a little bit different. Well, the Fans Food Bank really was a response to the issue of food poverty in Newcastle. Essentially, they were looking for a way to support and get uh, additional sort of resources in because the food stocks go very quickly. There's a there's a fair demand in this city, there's a lot of uh, poverty and the food bank tries to really act as a safety net for those families that need our support. We started the Funds Food Bank 26th of January 2017 and had our first match day collection 5th of February 2017 against Derby County in a winter's day and we got about 600 quid. I remember the day very well because some Germans turned up and gave us some German food and there were shelter fans and it showed the international appeal and the community appeal I suppose you know like like it is on the pitch you've got people playing from all corners of the earth but at the same time people from right here in this in this town in this city on this pavement we did very well there and we've carried on and thanks to the generosity of the Newcastle United fans we've we've been able to be here every home match since and we've we've kept going throughout the summer with a with a spot at the Granger market we're online, you know, people have been fantastic. The club's been brilliant. Everybody from the managing director to Rafa Benitez himself and the players and the staff, everybody. So it's been a fantastic united effort from, from the whole region and from everybody in the city. Food poverty is a major, major issue within the communities around the city. And, and I think the guys here who set up this initiative felt that the community could do something positive about it in trying to support those and, and tackle food poverty. And that's what they're doing, and they're doing an amazing job of that. The West End Food Bank has been operating since uh, 2013. The Fans Food Bank have really rallied behind us uh, in a sense that the Newcastle United Football Club Fans Food Bank is really a way that helps resource us. So we're working together in collaboration and really looking to raise funds to alleviate poverty, and particularly food poverty. So yes, next year we'll be here uh, until we resolve this issue one way or another, or at least we need to help people out of, uh, out of their situations when they face food crisis. We got a call the other day from Newcastle, and they said we've got a thousand Cadbury's cream eggs, and uh, I took them straight down to the food bank. There was a little lad called Patrick, and uh, little Patrick, he opened it, it was like it was like seeing buried treasure. So all this lovely foil and glitter and chocolate, and he, he smiled and he beamed. How must he feel when his mum and dad cannot afford things for him that everybody else gets, they can't even afford food? Now we have the most famous institution in the northeast of England, Newcastle United, and its fans donating things to put a smile on his face. That engages the community, because this is a community city. This is where the community takes care of each other, we take care of them. There's two things that we raise at, well, three things possibly we raise at the food bank. One is the uh, cash that we collect, and people are very generous, the van's been really generous, and that can range from between 800 to 1,200 pounds. What that does for us is that helps us meet some of our overheads, our fuel bills, because we've got to transport food from one location to another. So that sort of cash is really helpful. In addition to that, though, we raise some fans. We'll actually bring tin foods and pasta and non-perishable goods and donate them at our station. And that's excellent for us because we need food all of the time. But the third and possibly most important thing this does is raise the issue of food poverty. Just by us standing here in collection, it's making people aware as they pass that there is food poverty in this city. So it's raising awareness. And profile like this that you guys are doing helps raise that too. So all to the good. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to donate, then make sure you check out their Facebook page. And if you want to get in touch to find out what you can do for a food bank at your club, then just get in touch with us. Thanks for watching.